wrote an article for Veg News. Pantry 911, how to veganize your pantry. Spork is a sister-owned vegan food company that specializes in cooking classes. I wanted to show people that vegan cooking is super easy in your own home. I just went to Trader Joe's. I got salsa and chips and tofu. So call me later. I love you, sweetheart. <laughs> That's so cute. Our whole family signs their messages with their name like it's a letter. Like, love mom. Do you think we'll do that when we're older? I'm planning on it. I can't I wait to do that. I kind of love it. Let's do this. Okay, let's go to Air One. Ooh, nice one. <laughs> Heather drives kind of like Maude in the movie Harold and Maude sometimes. No, I'm actually the best driver of the family. They carry a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 78. Oh, look at you, memorizing. We wanted to teach people how to build a pantry that will give you enough staples to where you can prepare a meal with the things you have in your pantry if you also buy a few veggies. Celtic sea salt? Here we go. We talk a lot about using unbleached salt. Bleached salt actually has no nutritional value. It's all been taken out. And why take nutritional value out of salt when you can have it? And you can really taste the natural flavor when you use it. Sea salt is actually known to not contribute to high blood pressure. I really love to talk about walnuts and your omega-3s. They're an essential fatty acid, meaning that your body doesn't naturally produce omega-3, so you have to get them from other sources. Omega-3 energy mix, that's amazing. Also, you can find your omegas in walnuts. Don't let anyone tell you that you need to eat fish to get your omegas. It's really important when you're buying nuts to store them in the refrigerator. Keep them good. Right. Mom, are you listening? No, I'm just kidding. Mom doesn't, mom doesn't put doesn't nuts in the fridge. We've been asking her for a while. Maybe when she sees this. Oh, yeah. You want to look for an avocado that's kind of heavy for its size. You don't want to get an avocado that has a pit in it that's kind of rolling around. You also can tell if they're ripe by taking this little bit out of the top. If it's green, it's still ripe. So if it's turned a little bit brown or a little black, I'm going to put that back for the next guy. <laughs> put that down. I was just lectured this morning because I've been eating all of our bananas without replenishing the source, <laughs> which I'm really sorry. Bananas are really high in pectin, which is actually really good for your intestinal tract. It's very soothing to your body. So if you have like an upset tummy or you want to eat something that's really mellow, bananas are great. They um, relieve cramps, like stomach cramps or um, even muscle cramps. We make smoothies out of them and we use a little flax oil. We use some fresh dates from the farmer's market, some ice, and we make a delicious smoothie. It kind of satisfies you until you eat lunch. Dad has a little cold, so we need to bring him some miso to boost his little immune system. We are trying to basically avoid the doctor. We don't want to go, we don't want to get sick, we don't want our families to get sick. So that's just something we're really, really passionate about is healing ourselves from within and kind of spreading that around the world. Locally, or locally, you can pronounce it either way. It's actually an Italian word, locally. Locally is called an eco convenience store. It's amazing. I just discovered these. Oh, yeah. We've been kind of obsessed with um, vegan caramel, no big deal. Chocolate covered vegan caramel. So this is what miso paste looks like. Boost your immune system. If you feel like you're getting a cold, you drink miso soup, and there's a recipe inside for miso soup. So simple. People have been hearing a lot about probiotics and the benefits of probiotics in your body. Miso has probiotics in it naturally. It's also really, really high in protein and high in potassium. So it's really good for your immune system. And you can use it, in, this is our secret, we're gonna share it with you because, mm. you know, that's how we are. <laughs> it, um, you use it in pesto, so you can actually use a tablespoon of miso instead of Parmesan cheese, and you're getting those probiotic qualities. It's creamy, it's delicious. Agave is a sweetener that I think a lot of people have been talking about and hearing about lately. It doesn't raise your glycemic index. What does that mean? It means that you're not going to get those really highs and really big lows that you eat when you consume sugar. The Aztecs actually used agave on their wounds because there's antibacterial properties in agave. So you can imagine if it does that on the outside of your body, what it does on the inside. This is the vegan Worcester, Worcester, Worcestershire. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's delicious. And let's see, 349, not so bad. This will add flavor in a veggie burger, in a ranch if you're making it. It's so good in anything because it's really flavorful. So you just need a little bit 
and it kicks up your dish a lot. Coconut oil. It's a high heat tolerant oil, especially refined coconut oil. So if you buy a refined kind, it doesn't have to taste and smell like a coconut, and it makes things crispy when you fry in it. It doesn't leave things greasy. In our Pantry 911 article, we talked about coconut water and the benefits of coconut water, and we could probably go on for about 15 days straight talking about the benefits of coconut water. Well, it has it electrolytes has... in it, so right. that when you drink it, you are replenishing your electrolytes, you feel really refreshed, and it's basically, instead of Gatorade, if you have a coconut, you're really replenishing all those things. If you have a hangover, which I don't recommend getting, but if you, if you have one, drinking a coconut will make you feel a lot better. It's nutritional yeast. As a vegan, you know, it is important to eat nutritional yeast because you're getting your B12 vitamins. These are vitamins that your body doesn't produce naturally, so you need to get them from outside sources. And um, it has um, riboflavin, other B vitamins in here, and zinc, and a lot of good nutrients, but it tastes delicious. It really does. It really does. You can sprinkle it on popcorn, you can make your own cheesy sauce, like a little mac and cheese. Thank you so much. Can you need a bag? No, that's okay. We'll save on the bag. We'll just put it right in the car. When you're making food for people that you care about, when you're making food for yourself and you care about yourself, it just has this kind of, and sorry to sound like pretty out there about it, but it does have a little bit of love in it that you wouldn't get from a restaurant. Here's the organic spelt we love. This grain has been cultivated for the past 9,000 years in parts of the world kind of like brown rice and it has all these really good oils in it um, so it doesn't last as long on the shelf but it has a nutty flavor. We use this in all sorts of muffins and cakes. We make a spelt coffee cake with it. You can kind of substitute it out. We always do keep flour in our refrigerator. A lot of markets are getting hip to the vegetarian and vegan world. We recommend trying to hunt around and what you can't find you can always get delivered online. And you know what? There's no better way to spend money than online.